Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap Top 55 Interview Question and Answer Series. This is the part 2 of the series. Make sure that you, have, you check out the first part as we have covered around 11 uh, questions there as well. Before we get started with the question answer series, I want to inform you that I have a Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist in my channel where I have covered more than 40 plus tutorials which will really help you master Bootstrap 5. Make sure you check out the playlist to learn and master Bootstrap 5. Also, you can get this entire 5 uh, parts book into an ebook PDF copy at arctutorials.gumroom.com. Make sure you get your ebook. Alright, so let's start with today's first question that is, what is Bootstrap Grid System? The Bootstrap Grid System is a mobile first responsive grid system that scales up to 12 columns. Very, very important question. Important that you answer it equally well. So you should talk about bootstrap grid system is a mobile first responsive grid number one. Number two you should tell that bootstrap grid is that scales up bootstrap grid system scales up to 12 columns. Okay that's second important point. Third bootstrap provides a lot of built-in default breakpoints like for extra small, small, medium, large, extra large and extra extra large. These are all the different breakpoints which are directly mapped to different screen resolutions okay and that's why it is mobile first because it will support from extra small device to extra extra large talk about how do you implement them we write using call col to assign a default width or if you want on a certain device certain way you can use call hyphen xs call hyphen sm call hyphen md call hyphen lg and so on make sure that you get these points very very clear because this is going to be asked to you. When they start talking about grid, obviously they are going to talk about offset columns, right? So what is column offsetting? Column offsetting means when we want to push certain columns or move certain columns from its original position, that's where we will use column offsetting. And how do we implement them? We write the class offset hyphen MD hyphen N where n is the number of columns we want to push the code. Okay, so now let's say you have a default column here. You look at the code call md4. But here we are saying offset md4. That means move this by four columns, right? That's how you implement offset columns. I've covered these in detail on my playlist. So make sure you check that out so that you get practical knowledge also. Alright, so the next question they are going to ask you is what is column ordering? The previous question was about column offset. This is about column ordering. So what is column ordering? Column, column ordering allows us to arrange the visual order of the content. Right? We can move uh, certain blocks of code or elements into a certain order based on our requirement. Like for example, you can define here order first, order hyphen last, etc. We can also use something like order one to order six. Okay, that means these are the default built in utility classes that we can directly assign the order. If we want to use it on a responsive devices, we can also mention order hyphen MD hyphen one, two, three to six. Okay, very important concept. Uh, these three topics that I touched now, grid, column offsetting and column ordering. They are extremely critical, especially if you're attending a, a role on UI developer with Bootstrap, they are going to ask you these questions. All right, now next, next question is, how can you display code in Bootstrap, right? So Bootstrap uh, provides two ways where we can display code. Uh, one is using the code tag, and the other is using a pre predefined tag, right? Pre-tag of HTML. So these are two different um, uh, variations of how we can display code using bootstrap okay one is inline one is standalone block what are the some of the contextual classes that are used for background color now this this question has many variations because they will ask you what are the contextual classes for say how do you set a background color of a button of a link or of an accordion etc the answer will be same there are these fixed contextual classes that are called bg hyphen primary bg secondary bg success danger warning info white light and dark 
these are predefined in the framework which means you can apply them to basically any element that you are using with be it a div button link accordion card anything and everything you can apply these background colors so remember that now what are the default bootstrap text settings now this is important because sometimes people try to tend to fake their experience on bootstrap etc so they want to see whether you know the basic resets or not so the, the answer that you should tell is the default font family used is helvetica new that's the default one and the default font size is 16 pixel with line height of 1.5 this margin top is zero and margin bottoms are always one rem and there is a 15 pixel gutters right padding for cards so those are the default text uh, settings that you should talk about as part of typography now they'll talk about can you talk about pagination in bootstrap now you should talk about the classes that are available as part of pagination which are page dot pagination that tells the element nav element that it's a pagination ulli then you have the page items which is nothing but li like the list items in that particular ul you have a page link that's the anchor tags then you have active or disabled they tell you whether you are in an active page mode or not <coughs> explain input groups now this is also a tricky question they can ask you how can you append at the rate sign to a text box or how can you add certain things at the end of it right same question different way of asking so there are two types of input groups in bootstrap prepend and append we can use prepend or append add-on elements to form control so wherever you have a form control element you can add it in front or at the back okay so if you want to add it at the front you will use append or you if you want to use it behind you can you will use append if you want to use it in the front you'll use prepend okay these are the two cl classes that you will add with the label and it will start appearing <coughs> again uh, one thing i forgot to touch base is these are again these input groups are responsive which means you can give input hyphen group hyphen the div, uh, resolution the breakpoint like sm small medium large etc right how can you create a tabbed navigation menu right so here they are trying to ask you a different variation of nav navigation right so here important thing is everything will be same just like your nav bar right it will have a ulli class with nav and then you will have nav hyphen tabs that's what you need to mention that's a default built-in class which would get us a tabbed navigation okay so if you want to create tabs you will use nav hyphen tabs rest everything is similar to navbar you will have nav nav item and nav link <coughs> then you have nav item and nav link for each of it right that you will iterate <coughs> all right the next question <coughs> explain briefly how a navbar works right uh, now i touch based about navbar so let's talk about it in detail a navbar is a very eminent feature to make a responsive meta component that works as navigation headers for your application right that's the theoretical explanation in other words you can say that navigation navbar is an important feature of bootstrap using which we create all the navigations in our application <coughs> it can be at the top header it can be in the sidebar it can be at the pagination level there are various types um, of how you can there are very various flavors of where you can position how the navbars will behave <coughs> So you have navbar fixed top that means it will always be fixed at the top then you have navbar fixed hyphen bottom which will always be fixed at the bottom then you have sticky top which means you will scroll to a position in the page and that that element will then get stuck there i have covered all these details as part of position in the bootstrap file tutorial uh, make sure that you check that out if you really want to check out the hands-on examples with uh, live coding and practical knowledge but remember this is this is how you should talk about important thing class is navbar you can have navbar hyphen fixed hyphen top bottom default or sticky top all right that brings us to the end of part two in this particular series this is a five part series i have completed two i'll be rolling out the other three um, soon 
so please do check them out all the series in the uh, all the parts in this particular series to learn and master bootstrap 5 interview question and answers I hope you will crack your dream job. I wish you all the best. Make sure you check out all the parts of the series. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.